Hey, this is Dave Wood from MusicTrainer.com, and today we're going to talk about the infamous bar chord and why it scares so many people. Well, it's a big chord. It involves a lot of muscles. Um, it's one of the hardest chords that you can play on the instrument, okay? But there is a secret, and the secret is, is that this shape is the shape that you want to be able to grab and make happen that will make the entire bar chord so much easier. I have a lot of techniques to make this happen really, really easy. What is a bar chord? A bar chord is basically playing one of your open chords. Let's take an E major chord. It's playing, an, it's playing just one of these open chords, but with a finger right behind it. So you're playing that same exact chord one fret up. Alright, so if you look at this, I'm going to show you the wrong way to play an E major chord, but it helps demonstrate the bar chord. If you slide this down, you have E major, right? Just different finger. Alright, same exact thing. Now, if I move that up and put my first finger down, you got a bar chord. Not easy. So, how do we get to this point? The easiest way is this. Let me show you. Starting on the seventh fret, Okay, a little bit high for most of you, but starting on the seventh fret with your first finger, we're going to basically make the E chord shape. So you can do it in several different ways. You can think of it as, oh, it's just a power chord or open fifth chord, starting just like this, first finger, third finger, fourth finger. Then the trick is, is putting your second finger down here on the G string, and it goes in between these sets of fingers okay so if this is on the seventh fret ninth fret ninth fret this is on the eighth fret on the G string now for now we're gonna leave these bottom two strings they're gonna be open but everything else is gonna be open alright so that's your chord. Make sure it sounds good. Now, this shape is what you want to ultimately have as the basis for your bar chord. So here's a bar chord exercise for you. Starting on the seventh fret, strum that. Now, move this entire shape down to the fifth fret. Move the shape again to the third fret. Move this shape again now to the second fret first fret and down to the E chord with the wrong finger. So once again, seventh fret. Now we're going to play it in time. Two, three, four. 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 So that's getting the shape down. Now, going on to the hard part, the bar, the bar part, if you will. Starting with this shape, what you want to do is keep this shape happening. Bring your first finger down. And now here's another little secret, secret insider tip here, is to sort of roll your first finger. You don't want to think that your first finger is going to be straight up and down all the way up against the frets. This is really hard to play really really tough. The way I like to think about it is sort of rolling your finger back just a little bit. It helps with sort of leveraging all of these all of these notes and it gets it gets more it sort of covers more on the fretboard than what you would normally have if you just covered it straight flat like that. So curve it back just a little bit alright and then put these fingers back where they were and try that one more time. Start back up at this position Bring this finger down and curve it back just a little bit. And now, there's your bar chord. Another little tip. Keep in mind that you are not having to cover all six strings. Your first finger is covering all six strings, but you're only needing it to really cover this string, this string, and this string. So the low E, the B, and the E string are the only ones that you really have to worry about for the bar chord. 
there's something psychological about that that really makes it a lot easier than having to think I have to hold down and cover six strings it's really hard to do that so for right now just think voila six strings all covered these are doing half of the work all right so there's your bar chord same thing with this take this all the way down Now, another little tip real fast is that if this is really, really, really hard for you and you're really having a hard time with this, I'm going to show you one new chord. You're here on the seventh fret. Bring this down, starting off of the A string, okay? So now you have the same exact shape, but now you're only covering five strings. So if this isn't working for you, try this shape now. That's called an E minor chord. And look, it's the same thing as the A minor chord, but now just with a bar in front of it. We just happen to be on the seventh fret. So voila, same thing there. Seventh fret, fifth fret, third fret, second fret, and so on. Practice that every day, and you'll have bar chords. And that's it.